Let's switch gears, talk back to school coverage now because a change is coming for some families in the school lunch line. Now, federal funding made it possible for every child to receive free school meals during the COVID pandemic, but that ended in June. So our Pauline Lee live this morning with how one group is pushing to make free school meals permanent across Minnesota. Hi, Pauline. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, so food is everything to a child, right? You're talking about fuel to stay awake, to focus, to succeed in school and in life. Well, Hunger Solutions Minnesota leaders say they've recognized this. And two years ago, they started the Healthy Hunger Free Schools Initiative because they realized the benefits that student ha students had when they received those free lunches during the pandemic. They say about 500,000 students in the state qualify for free or reduced meals, but that number is likely to grow as people continue to struggle post-COVID and with inflation sending prices for everything skyrocketing. California, Massachusetts, Vermont, they've all passed universal meals in their states. Hunger Solution leaders say they've been successful in helping to get $187 million set aside in the last budget for universal meals, but it ultimately failed to pass. They say the fight is not over. I think that the way to really um, end lunch shaming, which we're already seeing cropping up in some of the plans because people haven't paid for meals for two years, there is, um, you know, a certain amount of uh, apprehension about what's going to happen when people have to pay for the meals. Well, they say the fight continues in the next budget as well. Meanwhile, there is a new program that is helping about 90,000 more students receive free lunches this year. It's a new pilot program. We'll dig more into it in about a half an hour or so, guys. Interested to learn more because she's right. A lot has changed in the past two years. All right, Pauline, thank you.